Hey, I'm John Warnock from Yusu Farm at Bigger. Um, family farm here around about uh, 280 acres. Um, been farming here for three generations. My grandfather came here from Straven in the 1930s and I'm the third generation and hopefully there's another one coming on to take over. It used to be a traditional kind of large or mixed, mixed farm with arable crops and for feeding the, the stock. But the last few years we've been over just all grass. So we're a, a dairy with 250 cows, all jerseys, on a Graham's jersey contract uh, on a grass-based system, block calving. So we calve half the cows October, November, and the other half February and March. Okay, we've been contract farming for uh, about three and a half years now, we've just gone into the fourth year of the agreement, so it started in 2016. We're finding issues with staff. I had a long-term member of staff who hurt his back and had to retire. Um, so we really struggled to find people to replace them after that, so I found I was doing more and more and it was just getting a bit too much, really. Through the discussion group, we were a dairy discussion group and we go around each other's farms uh, and we discuss all the financials with it and do benchmarking and stuff. So it was one of the meetings here we had and um, we are just discussing sort of the options, what we would have. Um, they knew I was under a wee bit of pressure just with work and I was in a knee operation and stuff like that. So. Um, we come up with a, the idea of this and um, the contractor actually is one of the or his families involved in the dairy group so I knew them well, I knew their system and uh, yeah I had quite a lot of confidence in, in that, the fact that I knew them to start with. So prior to the contract I was uh, working at my brother's dairy farm at Coventon, milking Holsteins on a high yielding system all year round cabin. So I worked there for about six, seven years and then the opportunity for contract farm came up. The main benefit really at the time we were looking for, as I say, my knees were boring me, I was struggling to milk. Um, my son had just started university. Yeah, the agreement was set up. We were struggled with for milk contracts, so we actually sold all our cows because uh, the only contract we get at the time was a Jersey contract. So um, the contractors actually bought the cows and leased them to the, to the, the farm. Uh, and it's, it's, worked, it's worked pretty well. We didn't have too big a set-up cost or anything to start with. And, well, uh, quite a fair bit of bu uh, building work. Not so much building work, but all time cubicles and parlour just to, to fit the, the smaller cows. Contract farming is a good thing for a new entry to get into, especially because you know, the, the farmer supplies, supplying the land and the buildings, and then I'm supplying the stock, so you're not taking on all this financial pressure and on your own. You know, you're doing it as a joint venture with the two years rather than me doing it all, having to go and try and buy a farm or lend out money to, to rent somewhere. We're contract farming, I get the ability for the, the farmer supplying the buildings and the land and I'm supplying the stock. But yeah, no, it's been very good, very, very few problems and we'll have a monthly meeting which we discuss things and what we're going to do and, and whatnot and then we'll have two or three big meetings a year, we've got a facilitator and if there's any problems we can handle it through him. It's, um, top tips. Trust, I suppose, is the worst. Number one, um, you've got to trust the, the contractor and just let them go on with the, what they're, they're doing. Uh, they do report to you, but you've got to be quite sure of their abilities, really. Um, talking, yes, keep conversations. You know, monthly meetings are probably one of the best hours we spend every every month. You know, just going through stuff. Personal relationships, the number one, has to be. You, know, you have to have the trust in the farmer, and you need to know that the farmer has got the trust in you. So our relationship was, was very good before, which means that it gives me both confidence to know that it's going to work. I, I would recommend a contract farming agreement. Um, I think it's worked very well for us. It's certainly given us some breathing space and, and stuff to get things in order. And well, I think it's worked well for both parties, you know.